Interested in playing some PlayStation 2, some Super Nintendo, or some classic Atari on your Steam Deck? I've got you covered with my Steam Deck emulation guide. One of the main reasons that I got a Steam Deck in the first place was because of emulation. If you follow my channel, you'll know that I'm a big mark for retro games, and if you don't, then now's as good a time as any to click that subscribe button and help support it, as there's tons of stuff on there to help you get the most out of your Steam Deck. Now, before we get started, if you wanted to find out where to get ROMs, BIOS, or ISOs, I can't help you with that. I'm assuming everybody here has got specialist hardware to capture their own physical games onto digital platforms, and they're just struggling with the relatively easy task of setting up an emulator. If you're typing things like ROMs and layer into Google, then go on, get out of here, you little. Go on. Yeah. And you. These people. Okay, now that the riffraff has gone, we can get started with all you honest folk just looking to get their physical games onto their Steam Deck. If you've got a dock or can connect a mouse or a keyboard to your Steam Deck, it's going to make this entire guide a lot easier to follow. Don't worry if you don't though, you can use Steam and X to bring up your keyboard and you can just use the touchscreen on the Steam Deck as the mouse. It's not quite as straightforward and easy, but it's the best you're going to do. If you are using the virtual keyboard and you have any issues like the keyboard doesn't come up or it doesn't let you type, just close it down and try and start it up again. All else fails, reboot the system. It's a bit shit, but here's what it is. So we're going to be using a program called Emudeck. Emudeck makes things super simple and if you're wanting multiple emulators or you're just wanting to launch your games directly from Steam, it's a no-brainer. Firstly, head into desktop mode. Once in desktop mode, open up a web browser and head to the Emudeck download page, which is on the screen and will also be in the description. Or just type Emudeck into Google and find it yourself. You want to download the Steam OS version. Once it's downloaded, open up the folder with it in, probably your downloads folder. Most web browsers will let you just do this directly from the downloads tab. Drag the newly downloaded file onto your desktop and then double click it to run it. Click continue if this prompt pops up. Now, unless you're feeling adventurous, choose the easy mode and click continue. Select where you want to load your games from. For me, it's the SD card and then click next. Assuming you have a Steam Deck watching this Steam Deck tutorial on this very Steam Deck focused channel, click Steam Deck and click finish. This will take a while to install. If it looks like it's been stuck on one bit for a while, Click open on the detailed log, and if it's not writing anything, then just close it all down and start again. First time I had no issues installing this, but second time it took me three attempts. If any prompts come up, just accept them, possibly stuff about installing patches and whatnot. Eventually, it'll complete and you should see this page telling you which emulators have been installed. Click next. The next step is to import the games. So I guess there are three ways of getting the games onto your Steam Deck. You either send them wirelessly from your PC to your Steam Deck, which will require manual copy. You can stick them on a USB drive, which means using manual copy or automatic import. Or you could download the games directly to your Steam Deck, in which case, again, you'd use manual copy. As I've backed up my physical games onto my PC, I'm going to transfer these wirelessly over my network from my PC to my Steam Deck, so I'm going to choose manual copy. Then open emulation folder ready to copy my files across. So in this step, I'm going to show you how to easily transfer things from your PC to the Steam Deck wirelessly. Firstly, on your Steam Deck, hit the Steam Bar button. I don't know if that's the official name, the thing that would be the start menu in Windows, this thing. Type in console and launch console. First, we're going to need to get a password to be able to set up stuff. So type in the command P A W S W D. Create a password and then re-enter it. You're going to need this 
in about 30 seconds and again in about a few minutes so make sure you remember it next we need to enable the ssh to be able to transfer stuff so type the following sudo systemctl enable sshd it'll probably ask you for that password you just created enter it then type the following to start the sshd that we just enabled sudo systemctl start sshd The last thing we need to do on the Steam Deck for this is obtain your IP address. Click on your network connections at the bottom right, click on the little drop down arrow next to your active connections and click details. The first line should be the IP address, most likely being something like 192.168.1 then something. Make a note of it. Now head over to your PC and open up a web browser and head to this address to download FileZilla. Follow the on-screen prompts for the installation and be sure to click no when it tries to force some other software on you like AVG antivirus. Once it's installed, launch it and enter the Steam Deck IP address in the bar at the top that you've just got. Enter deck for username and then enter the password that you created for the password. Then put port 22 for the port. Make sure your Steam Deck hasn't gone into sleep mode or something and is still in desktop mode and then click connect. If you've never used FileZilla before, the left hand side of the files and folders are your Windows PC and the right hand side are the files and folders of your Steam Deck. On the right hand side, we need to find the ROMs and BIOS folders that the MU Deck should have created. If you chose to put them in your SD card, head to slash run slash media. In there, there'll be a shortcut to your SD card. Click on it. It won't have the same name as mine. Head into emulation. And here we have the BIOS and ROMs folders. For most systems, you're only gonna need the ROMs folder Certain ones though, like PlayStation, do require BIOS files to work properly. Open up the ROMs folder and find the one corresponding to whatever system you've got a ROM of, or ISO, and drag it from your PC into that folder. You can see the progress down at the bottom. And there you go, you've got a working connection to transfer files to your deck. Once you've transferred your games, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so this should be the last step. We've got the games on our Steam Deck and we've got the emulators installed. Now we just need to get the emulator to find the games. You should still be on this part on your Steam Deck. If not, just run the installer again. We needed to get to this part to have all the folder structure created for us before we could transfer our games. If you want, you can have a look on your Steam Deck to check the file is there, but if it's shown in FileZilla, it's definitely there. Get rid of this window and click the blue close button. Click next. Now, personally, I'm not putting too much on my deck as if I've got too many games, I'll end up playing nothing and just looking at them. So I'm going to get the one with Steam Library option. If you've got tons, then feel free to use the Emulation Station option. Emulation Station is a pretty decent front end bit of software that I've got on my Raspberry Pi, but it's not something I personally want on my Steam Deck. So I'm going to click Steam Library. If you are doing the same, click launch Steam ROM Manager. And if this pops up, click yes. So this screen shows you all the passes. You can turn some off if you're never going to use them, and some will be duplicates, like ones that are turned off by default. Once you're happy, click Preview, and then click Pass. Now this will show you all the emulators and games with box art. Any you don't want, just click and select Remove from Steam. If the box art is wrong, like with this terrible PlayStation 2 game, Master of the Universe, click on the arrows until you find the one you want. Once you're done, click Save to Steam, and then close it. Finish the setup. Return to gaming mode. Back in gaming mode, head to your library. You should be able to see the new games under either Collections or under Non-Steam. Hit Play 
and enjoy. And there you go, we got there in the end. It's a long tutorial, but hopefully it wasn't a particularly difficult one to follow. Like with all games on the Steam Deck, it's the same with emulation. You're going to have issues where some games don't work, some games need tweaking, and the majority will just work out of the box. If you've had your Steam Deck a while, you'll be used to this now, so crack on. As always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and comment to let me know how you got on. Please subscribe to the channel to get more of my content and help my channel grow and help support it. And hopefully, I'll catch you next time.